part 2 of MySQL login panel as we have created a log uh, basic login panel using GUI editor so now first let's start with the event show and hide which will help us to make it visible or uh, so the, um, basically this fun event will execute a function which will check is window is visible or not if it's not visible then it will set it to visible and if it's visible then it will hide that window so let's name it show hide event view let's make function name also show hide and handler for this function show hide event get local player show hide function so is it uh, this function will if gui get visible GUI editor dot window one is equal to this double equal to true then then GUI set visible GUI editor dot window one false show versus false else if gui get visible gui data dot window 1 is equal to false then Just make them visible. Show cursor two and set visibility to as we have already default set window false. Set visibility for JR window is false. So now we are done with the show height function. So now let's create one but uh, button handler. So it will trigger. Some statement and particular register or login button will be clicked. So let's name this function button click and add event handler on client GUI click and on GUI data dot window one. And execute function button click. So if button source is equal to let's first create a register button functionality button then uh, else if source is equal to log button. So when we have to click this, we have to check for that uh, is these edit boxes 4, 5, 6 has any input or not. If they have any input, then pass this all data to the database, to the server file using an event so that server file execute the MySQL query and insert all that data into the database, which we can see here. Yes. Database. MTA login users as at the moment this table don't have any data so let's start working with sister function local username is equal to gui get text gui editor dot edit number 4 
and password is equal to do you get a date number five and for that we have to add one more after password email field this is just for this email is just for information or you can send newsletters to your register members registered members password is available and email will be this and trigger server event and let's name this event register request by the player send local player send username password and now let's go to server file and event function player username password and add event handler So now let's first check is account with that username already exists or not. Let's create a local variable name as account and use function get count username if account returns false then Local ID is equal to get player ID player and local serial variable with all the value of serial get player serial player and exports dot mysql Insert into users username, password, email, IP, serial values, username, password, email, IP, serial, and username, password, email. IP serial and also add the account to the MTA database add account variable which will equal to add account function to string username and to string password and if add account return success view then output debug string user register with username username and if that not happen else output be the string error after by register so now let's give it a try refresh start login panel and there we go oh, and we have to start GUI editor as we have also created I imagine it 
star login panel so we have to execute that show hide function so let's first execute it show hide so now this will make interface visible each time player join or clip will run and after login or register we will send the after uh, and after login we will call this event and that will hide that window now uh, let's restart login panel there we go and let's try to register username channel one two three password channel one two three email channel one two three at the com and register and there we go user register with username cradle one two three let's check in our database let's refresh it and yes we got our entry in database with our IP and serial with email ID password and username so now let's start with login button click so on login button we again have to fetch username as well as password and username will be equal to GUI get text geoeditor dot edit number one and the same will be for password but password edit number is number two and again we have to trigger server event Let's name it login request. And trigger it for local player. Send local player username and password. Let's create this event in server file. Add event. Name, password, and add event handler and get root element. Execute this function now. Let's first check on request that user with that username which is requested exists in database. If it exists, then we check the password from the database and the user user enter the password in the edit box and if that matches then we will log in the user and set its data to logged in so we can do that using the local check function so local check which will fetch information from database mysql query single Select all, all from users where username is equal to username and if check returns true then local check pass variable will store the password from database check dot password and if check pass is equal to password split from user then login player to string username to string password and after that trigger line event clear show hide so this is by triggering this event we will hide that window 
when user successfully logged in get internet output event string user log hope this will work let's give it a try please start login panel Username, Cadel one Cadel one two three and password Cadel one two three and login. And yes, we can log in, but there is oops, there is there is all the time. Okay, we use wrong. We need to use get. Account of that username and login using that password. Let's try once more. We start login panel. We log out. Get an OG and password. Get an OG. Login. And yes, and as you can see, we have successfully logged into this account. And here we also got this login. So this is how you can create a basic login and register system using MySQL database to store and fetch. You can add more rows and more data according to your needs and you just need to pass them here in the query by creating variables and pass them to the query and you can do the same and you can also and we have used this select star star means all and we should fetch all the attributes and you can traverse them using for loop and hope it will help you for developing or getting started with the MTS scripting. Thanks for watching.